Hi, my name is Madison Rausch and I'm a Communication Studies major here at BYU. Today I'll be discussing my experience creating a film po criticism podcast called The Black Holes of Netflix. In this podcast, myself and my co-creator Sarah Doyle analyze and discover the worst films Netflix has to offer. We then decide if it's a black hole, meaning it should be avoided at all costs, or Supernova, still bad but very entertaining to watch. This journey with film began when I was very young. I would remember, even at the age of two, dragging our portable VHS into VHS TV into our, my room and either watching Cinderella or episode one of Star Wars almost every day. Thankfully, my taste expanded over the years, and my passion for movies extended to other forms of media, such as theater, especially in high school. Growing up in Southern California, especially in this digital age, I was exposed to not only the entertainment industry, but also experienced how media was critical in the way people in communicated and engaged with each other. It took me a long time to discover what major would fit this desire of mine to understand media and its effect on people. I stumbled across the communication studies major, which allowed me to study this subject in more detail. But it also gave me the freedom to produce and engage with multiple forms of media in other classes, even outside the major. This class became one of those opportunities for me to engage with podcasting in a way that I never thought could work. I didn't think that my love for analyzing films, especially random and terrible ones, could be something that was viable as a podcast. Our idea was to find bad films and discuss why they were bad. It felt like our initial concept was a defective, and from the start, the question that loomed over us was who and why would someone want to listen to, review, to reviews of movies they really didn't want to watch or are considered terrible films. We didn't want to put more negative content out into the world but our show was based on ba criticizing bad content. We dove in head first trying to find a way to make our show not only viable, but a positive contribution to the internet. What we discovered was that format was a critical part of making this podcast positive. So we decided that in order to keep our in-depth analysis of what went wrong, we needed to create unique segments to add both humor and positivity to combat the criticism. Our new segments included the shining star moment, or the best part of the film, the whiplash moment, or the line of dialogue that was so bad it gave you mental whiplash, and lastly, the shatting donkey moment, or the scene that was so bad the film could never recover. We also discovered other ways to make our podcast viable and positive. First, we knew that if we used Netflix in both the name and source of material for our podcast, we could piggyback off of the success of the most popular streaming service. Every time our listeners would see, hear, or watch Netflix or something about it, they could be reminded of our podcast. Second, we named the Shatting Donkey segment in our very first episode that our, so that our listeners felt like they were part of our process and therefore more connected to the show. Similarly, having the show a discussion between Sarah and I allowed our listeners to connect to us and understand us more through sharing our, our opinions, um, say, saying stupid things and sharing our experiences. This not only creates a positive connection, but makes the audience want to come back and listen to more. Lastly, we decided to promote and discuss the podcast as us, the hosts, sacrificing our time to these bad films so that the audience can quench their curiosity without the possibility of watching something so horrible. Including the rating of Black Hole or Supernova, provided a singular purpose to why we analyze and discuss these films. Also, this angle for promotion and the rating system gave a more practical purpose to our show and in turn made it a more viable podcast than just a rant about bad filmmaking. Through discovering these tools and producing this podcast, it truly put to practice the theory and critical understanding that I have been studying in my major classes. On top of learning how to collaborate to produce a viable podcast, this experience gave me new ways to approach and create positive media. Though this podcast may never have a second season, this gave me more confidence in this medium. Hopefully this will lead to more engaging endeavors to create positive and viable content, not only in my personal um, social media, but also in my professional career.